As a little boy, I was fascinated by superheroes. I wanted to be Spider-Man because he was funny. I wanted to be Hulk because of his strength. I wanted to be Iron Man because he was smart. And he could fly. And yet there was another superhero I wanted to be more than the rest. A superhero that had it all. My brother. Yep, that's me again. You know, quitting can be easy when things aren't going your way in a living room wrestling match. But even as a kid, my brother always found ways to motivate me to keep me from giving up. What happened to the superhero? I thought it was strong. Hey, Joe Macabre! Wrestling wasn't the only fun we had together. We had outdoor competitions too, sort of. I saw him fill up three million water balloons by himself. How hard could it be? Harder than it looks. Of course, he made it look easy. Robot friends? Really? I'm surprised my brother didn't laugh at me with the type of questions I asked. He was always listening though. He moves this to the front. And then once you start, put it on the ground. You want to play with them? Yes. You, you be back guy in that one, red one. Okay. You don't have to my pain, my pieces. I am. Uh. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Uh. Oh, yeah. I have some of this bucket shit, bitch. I have, I have friends. No, that's my friend. I have two friends. That's my friends. Now. Okay, here, take one so it can be fair. My brother's passion was music. He would practice on his keyboard and violin for hours. As he practiced and I sat there watching him play a concert for two, he still let me be a part of his day. It wasn't until the age of 10 that I found out he hadn't invented all those songs. I was eating Canada. But he had me tricked. We're gonna be on America's Top Talent anytime soon. Good job. Let's try again. There was a day that stands out to me more than others as a kid. It was a day I thought my brother had finally outgrown his little shadow. I knocked and knocked on his bedroom door. I sat outside his room giving our robots a paint job waiting for him to come out and play. He didn't leave his room that entire day. And I thought it would just be me and my robots from now on.
But the next day... I found out why he didn't let me in his room that day. He had been working on setting up an adventure for us. He was taking me to the world I always imagined when playing with our robots. A world where robots came to life and we could run and play amongst the stars. It was the best day I had as a kid. It is a world I can always go back to whenever things aren't so great. But more importantly, it is a world that taught me that anything was possible. Brother, thank you for everything you've done for me throughout the years. You taught me how to persevere and be ambitious. You always told me to reach for the stars. Now when you look up at the stars, you'll know that I'm out there. No, that doesn't mean I'm dead. Put your phone down. Flip over the card and you'll know what I mean. Your little brother.